Now we continue to follow the trial of Daryl Brooks. Day two for jury selection is underway and it's already full of similar drama and disruptions to what we saw on day one. Brooks started the day in the courtroom, but then within the first few minutes was moved to an adjacent courtroom. Amelia Jones back with us here in studio and uh, Amelia jury selection initially was supposed to take just one day according to the judge's uh, hopes. Now we're into day two continued problems. What was the latest today? Well, Carl, the good news is, is that there hasn't been any more interruptions or recesses since this morning, but day two starting out very similar to what we saw on day one. When court started at 830 this morning, almost immediately there were disruptions and delays from Daryl Brooks. Uh, Judge Jennifer Dora called a brief recess and when court was resumed after about another dozen interruptions, Judge Dora moved Brooks to the adjacent courtroom where he could watch proceedings via Zoom. And then shortly after 9 a.m. when the cameras were allowed back on, Judge Doro noted that Brooks was muted, but that he appeared to be yelling in the secondary courtroom. Monday, Brooks was ma Brooks managed to delay the start of his trial with disruptions. Judge Doro called 11 recesses because of the continuous interruptions. After a break for lunch, Brooks was moved to another courtroom where he watched proceedings on Zoom. Judge Doro again had him on mute. And while the proceedings, they did take longer than expected on Monday, there was some progress made. 41 potential jurors were able to be questioned. Seven were struck for cause. 65 potential jurors are expected to be questioned today. District Attorney Sue Opper told our Fox 6 crew that she expects to have a jury selected today, then opening statements to begin on Wednesday. DA Opper also filed a motion this morning to not allow the faces of the victims or witnesses be photographed or video recorded. Part of the motion says none of the victims or witnesses signed up for this. Their attendance at a public event was not a waiver of their right to privacy. Judge Dora will have to rule on this motion. The state's witness list is about 30 pages long. DA Opper says if the motion is approved, then the state will provide a specific list of names that the order would apply to. Carl? And all of this, Amelia, is still just jury selection, so we'll see what happens in the trial as Brooks is representing himself, so cross-examination, calling his own witnesses or evidence to trial. We will see how this all plays out. Thank you very much. Absolutely, but things are still on track today. That's the good news mm -hmm. uh, in day two. Thank you.